Hi right, guys. Well, there it is. <laughs> the dying light. It is a spectacularly gorgeous springtime evening here in the end times on this gorgeous, I think it's going to be a moonlit spring night here. Monday night, where are we? April, April 15th, 2024, and uh, I've got to go uh, get some checks to get them in the bank before some goddamn scammer gets them. So I anyway, you know, these, <laughs> these fucking scammers, uh, I have had two different warnings in the last 24 hours on my computer about, uh, about some sort of threat uh, detected on my computer and, 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 you know, the usual shit that you've heard. It's happened twice in the last 24 hours, and then when I, 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 I get up this morning and one of my computers has been disconnected from the internet, my other computer was, was totally frozen, uh, where I couldn't even move the cursor to uh to power it off and i had to override it and shit and uh just just some weird shit's been showing up and then today i got my first uh have any of you gotten this one yet uh i'm sure it's been going around especially if you're older than 60 because i see AARP is reporting on it, and this is called the wrong number text scam that's going on, and, and, and how it starts, uh, at least with me, and I guess this is, is pretty common, you don't get a phone call that's a wrong number, you get a text number that uh, it just sounds real chatty, but they're talking to somebody else. Like mine today was, uh, hey, Jessica, uh, we're having a party at my place on Saturday. Uh, well, hope you can come, blah, blah, blah. Uh, text me back or, or something like that. And then you, uh, if you're a clueless moron like me, you, you, you know, you text them back and say, uh, you obviously have the wrong number. I am not Jessica. And you think you're done with it, like with, with a phone call. But then you get another text back after you've told them, it's the wrong number, and the person is real apologetic. Oh, I really hope I, I didn't bother you and everything. And, and then it starts turning weird about, uh, you know, you, 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 I really appreciate you going out of your way to tell me or, or whatever. That you that you're obviously such a nice person, that uh, blah blah blah, and they 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 suck you in like that, and so I and I was actually for you know for a couple of minutes falling for this, uh, that this had never happened, and uh, so I. And so then the caller who had already uh, identified her in her very first text as Olivia, you, you know, Olivia, 
calling for Jessica, not for another man, a woman calling for another man. And then it started from Olivia that, that uh, y you know, you sound like a really nice guy. Uh, you know, what's your name? And then how old are you? is what they immediately want to uh, determine. They, they're, they're trying to find out if you are a senior citizen is the main thing. And uh, so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little suspicious, but, I'm, but I decide to play along with this, uh, w with this and figure out what the fuck this is so what it immediately turns into is this total fucking stranger named Olivia named Olivia uh, out of the blue uh, seems to be very interested uh, in, in me uh, she you know she wants to know uh, how old I, you know, what my name is, how old I am, what I do for a living, what I do for fun, and it, it's just not like, it, like this texting, you know, it, it was basically like texting some woman on pile of fish, so I immediately got suspicious, and I googled uh, wrong number scam, and there were letters from the F, there were, you know, articles on the FBI, on AARP, you know, this is particularly for, for old folks, for lonely old men, you know, with broken teeth, stranded without love, uh, AARP, Better Business Bureau, all talking about the same thing. Now, the good news was, this is probably a goddamn scammer calling me on my, uh, on my cell phone right now. Uh, so, uh, pro pro probably, probably some fucking scammer's got my cell phone. So, anyway, the good news is, according to the FBI and all these people, is that the scammers, and uh, I, I'm sure they play old women even more than they play old men, that they really can't scam you uh, it, 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 as long as it is in this phase, that you're texting back and forth. You know what they're doing, they're, you know, they're, they're fucking con men, and they uh, want to. Well, obviously they're con men, so they want to. They want to gain your confidence, and then once they gain your confidence, what they're going to do is send you a link. This very, you know, this very innocent-sounding link after you've uh, established. Uh, gotten on a first name basis and shit with them, they're going to send you some very, uh, what, what sounds like an innocent sounding link. And then when you click on that link, you're fucked. That is when uh, they get in there uh, and, and, and start seriously fucking you, with you. So, they hadn't sent me the link yet, so I was waiting around for the link. So I was having some fun with this scammer, and uh, you know, so I finally told him to go fuck off. And then they, they acted very, very, very shocked that I was accusing them of of being a scammer and blah blah blah. And then at that point, I just blocked them. <laughs> but but it, it, it's, it's just the latest uh, in a long line. I don't know what that weird message I had waiting for me on my computer this morning when uh, I opened it up, this fucking uh, alert message 
uh, on there about somebody trying to contact me and absolutely, uh, you know, don't fucking, uh, uh, you know, that, that, that all part was weird. <clears throat> and then, of course, you, you know, I remembered that thing. If you heard my, uh, my rant uh, a few nights ago about that supposed Trump tard <clears throat> woman on a uh, on pile of fish, you know, she did not have her photo uh, posted. And you'll find uh, more and more of these that there's no photo posted. And she, I, I didn't read this out loud, but she started her, she started her profile by saying, you know, I, I went to post my, my photo on here, and the, these fuckers at Pile of Fish, uh, you know, want me to do this, uh, this verification that I am who I say I am, and, and I've been through this before because, you know, I actually lost my Facebook account. And this was years ago when I was kicked off of Facebook because somebody reported me as being a scammer, which was absolute bullshit. Uh, it was someone who wanted to rent my house uh, and reported me as a scammer. And... And, and Facebook Marketplace years ago, they wanted me uh, because I had been flagged as a scammer. They wanted me to, uh, you know, send my passport. They wanted me to, you know, copy and paste my passport, driver's license, some sort of government issued photo ID where they could run my Facebook photo up against, uh, and, and, and I told Mark Zuckerberg where he could go fuck off. But uh, now, apparently, so I, I, I don't know. So she was claiming that now, uh, so I don't know if the, if the whole fucking thing that she was posting was a scam, uh, but 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 I ought or, or or that she was being perfectly honest, because for the past oh six months or so, it has been voluntary to what they call self-verify your photo on pile of fish, and uh, I I remember a woman uh, contacting me saying, well, dude. I would like to uh, talk to you, but you need to verify your photo for me. You, you need to go in there and do the fucking facial recognition uh, just so I know that I'm not being catfished. And I just made a joke to her, and, and, and I said, lady, uh, I, I said, why would any man post pictures of somebody who looks like me. Uh, I, I, I said, I understand if you were looking at a photo uh, of fucking Robert Redford, you know what I'm saying, uh, or Brad Pitt, uh, but, but why would any scammer post a, a, a photo of someone like me? And it's like the same thing. I mean, I'm looking at all of these fat, ugly women, page after page after page of these fat, ugly women. Why, why would any woman uh, who was catfishing or trying to scam me, you know what I'm saying, post a picture uh, 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 of some fat, ugly woman uh, on their profile? I mean, it wasn't there. So I told her that I don't, that I don't play that fucking game. And I never heard from her. So this woman, you know, she was putting in her posting, I don't play that fucking uh, l little fucking New World Order facial recognition game 
uh, and she said, but if you respond to me, I will send you a link with my photo in it. So she wanted to, uh, she wanted to, uh, you, you know, send you a link. Uh, so I don't know, you know, like uh, my buddy Michael Campy, he, he just immediately assumed that, uh, that, that, uh, woman what, what, what was a fucking scammer, was, was a bot, wasn't even a real person. Uh, and, 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 and I, and I honestly don't know anymore. I, I, I mean, this shit, it, it is fucking everywhere you turn. You, you know, I'm dealing with this shit down there with Hernando County, Florida, their entire fucking computer system has been down uh, for over a week. Uh, I, I guess their computer system was hacked. And, and, and I mean, the, and this entire county is, is goddamn uh, frozen can't do any goddamn business and it, and and, just, and and all of the fucking bullshit that I've been uh, dealing with because of this uh, you know you know this shit is just beginning it's just fucking beginning uh, all all of this goddamn bullshit with with with, with these motherfuckers and so now what, what it's come up with, uh, you, you know, and I believe the woman on Pile of Fish uh, because it has been voluntary for the past few months and now it's going to become involuntary. That if you want to put a profile uh, up on Pile of Fish, you're going to have to run your fucking face you know what I'm saying. You're, you're, you're going to have to run your goddamn face through this motherfucking uh, facial recognition uh, bullshit uh, to prove that you're not a scammer. That, that from this point forward, you are guilty uh, until you are proven is innocent. And it's going to be more and more and more of this shit. It's right out of the goddamn circle and the every of those books by Dave Eggers, uh, you know, predicting this shit. Year, years ago, with, with each passing day, it's just going to be assumed that you're a fucking criminal. That there's so many fucking uh, scammers and crim criminals and shit that uh, to do anything, my, my guess is to open a fucking Facebook or a Twitter account uh, that they're going to send you through all of this motherfucking uh, facial recognition and, 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 and all of this bullshit and, 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 and I don't know. Uh, you know, as they would say, uh, it's for your own protection. So, as for your own protection, you're getting treated like a fucking criminal. A fucking criminal. Let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, I have a shadowy figure approaching. Are you who you say you are? Are you the fuck who you say is Sancho? Who is that person? Do we Hi, Sancho? Do we do we trust them? Can can I have a facial recognition of your face <laughs> before I accept that package out of your hand? Are you trying to uh, give me anthrax? I am literally meeting a shadowy character uh, on the side of the road. Trying to conduct some fucking business. We're, we're fucked, people.